How goes it everybody? My name is Howitzer and welcome back to SnowRunner. And today I'm going to be looking at this one. The FJ Bruiser. John John Hot Rod brings us this one. And I have been waiting for this for, well, actually months. I'm, I don't know exactly when this dropped for console. But I don't think it was that long ago. At least I hope it hasn't been too long. But this is actually a real vehicle. And he's actually got a couple uh, versions for this. So I guess you can kind of choose which one you want to do. But I'm going to be looking at this one today. Let's just see what we can do to this thing. All right, for engines, he's got a few to choose from here. I guess for right now, let's do the level two trail runner. Uh, gearbox, again, you got a few of them to choose from. I guess I'll go with the trail runner again the gearbox as well suspension again you gotta you got a few and again I guess we'll go with the trail runner but we'll do stage two tires does have a, a decent little selection he does have stats on him which is kind of nice so I think we're gonna go with the 48 inch cheater swamp runner sx twos we'll give those a shot Winch, you got a few to choose from. Some vanilla options and a couple better ones, I guess. Uh, I'll, we'll leave that alone. Diff lock, can't do nothing with that. This is where I think it's going to start getting a little crazy. Because you can do all sorts of stuff. If I, if I know his mods, it'll get a little crazy. So I guess, I guess you could take all this stuff off if you really want to. And you can change a couple things. He does have his invisible snorkel if you don't like it on the side of the truck, I guess. Interior, you got... Well, he can hang some brass knuckles from the from the cage there. A couple things I guess you can remove. You can do stuff with the bed. Do different tow and haul options. Again, you can take all this stuff off if I see this right and kind of make it however you want to do it. You got an expedition rack and then you can put all sorts of stuff on here if you really really want to. I mean you can do stuff with the cab that you can take off if you really want. I mean there are so many things you can do with this. You can change out your lights if you want to, put different lights in. You got damage control. We'll turn that on. And then he has uh, some goodies. He's got fuel and repair parts and tires. But I don't think we're going to need any of that. His his mods are uh, not really fragile. So I don't think we have to worry about that too much. Paint. Looks like you can actually change up to color if you really want to. Of course, he has... Quite a few colors to choose from as well, if you really want to do that. Oh, you can do bobbleheads and accessories as well. Let's go see how this thing does. I have been waiting for this for so long. Let's go see how it does. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This thing looks fucking badass. I guess this was a SEMA truck. Fucking sweet. Look at the inside. And even the inside looks real good. Got all your different transfer case splitters and shit. Hell yeah, it looks good in here. Oh, sounds good too. The exhaust coming out of the cab? Are you fucking serious? That's pretty sweet. I mean... The detail on this... Is... Absolutely astonishing. In the description, he fucking says that the rotors even fucking turn. The brake rotors. Like, my god, man. Cool. I think this thing's gonna be pretty sweet. It'll actually pull trailers if you wanted to. That's kind of cool. Can I do anything with the suspension? No, I cannot. That's okay. I don't think we really need it. I guess we'll just, uh... 
we'll kind of figure it out as we go. Let's go see how it goes through the little washed out river here. I expect it not to have too much of an issue in. Yeah, it had no problem doing that at all. Yeah, this is actually a really nice and tame gearbox for this. It's not super, super fast, and it's not slow. Going through Swampy Town, pretty good. Get into some of the deeper water. We actually dropped gear. That is interesting. This thing's eating it up in here, man. Oh, did I not put the snorkel on? Oh, maybe I did. <laughs> Oops. One over the down trees, nice. Comes a deep spot, hopefully we don't start taking damage. Oh, okay. Not deep enough. That's okay. Let's put it in high once. High gear isn't terrible. It's it's pretty calm. That's that's nice to see. This is he says this is like an all-around gearbox, you know, so should be pretty decent. Let's see how it does in the river. Oh man, fucking plowed right through the river. Goodness. It did really well through there. Let's go do some other stuff, though. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of crawling. Yeah, I don't think this was actually, like, just a SEMA truck. I think not only did they build it for looks, but they build it to perform as well. Let's see how it does. There we go. Right up there. Oh. I suppose I probably should have switched out the suspension too. I think you can get a suspension that flexes just a little bit more than this one does. This thing is fucking sweet. I like this truck a lot. I've barely done anything with it. Let's see if we can get up this rock face here. What do you think? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a nice little crawler here too. Ah damn. Yeah, this thing is performing very, very well. I was not expecting really anything less, I guess. He, he makes good shit. Let's go put that other gearbox in once and see if we can get some speed out of it. Alright. Can I maintain control of it? Here we go. Yeah! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh. Well, I would say it jumped pretty well. Let's go hook a trailer onto this thing and see how it does a little more off-roading once. Alright, we got the old maintenance trailer. It's been a while since I pulled this thing. Let's go. Oh boy. See how it does this once. I went with the red line engine. The trail runner gearbox. And the trail crawler suspension. So we got a little more flex in the suspension. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I guess we'll find out. Got it in high. Pulling the hill. Absolutely no problem at all. I do have a feeling this trailer is going to flip me, though. Eventually. <laughs> it's inevitable. It always happens. 
Driving slow is boring. Pedal to the metal or nothing. Oh. Oh, oh. You know, I just gotta talk about it, don't I? I fucking mention it, and then it happens. Alright, let's keep on going here. I don't think this particular mod was made to pull trailers. I think this is more for having fun off-road. But, I mean, there's definitely no reason why this wouldn't do it. I just don't think that pulling trailers is what he had in mind with this one. And that's alright. The, the, the truck by itself is absolutely amazing. Oh, oh! Come on, go back over. There we go. Yes. Nice one. Yeah, he's definitely toned down his mods for sure. They're not uh, as crazy as they used to be. Let's see if we can get up the little hill here. Oh. Ooh, I was not expecting the hesitation. I wonder if this truck is a little light. Or if that even has anything to do with it, I have no idea. Just a little hesitation, but it got up there. Give it some time, you know. Alright, let's go back down. And then we'll just send her on down the hill here. Oh god, oh boy. Oh god. Yeah! A little violent, I guess, but it wasn't... Oh, God, camera, come on now. It wasn't terrible. I've, I've seen worse. <laughs> I've done worse, I guess. God, this thing is... God, I... I, I... Oh, no! Don't flip me. Oh, that was a close one. Yeah, this thing is definitely meeting expectations for sure. This fucking guy definitely deserves all the fucking recognition for doing this, because I can just imagine how much time this takes. This fucking mod came out in March. That's how fucking long it's been. All right, we got her in high. Here comes the puddle. Oh, pulled right through it. Hell yeah. Fucking A. This thing is fucking sweet, man. I have seen all I need to see. Well, that was the FJ Bruiser. Dude, I mean, come on. Anytime he comes out with a mod, it's... It's absolutely extraordinary. The fucking detail he puts in this stuff is just absolutely amazing. And it's kind of cool that this was an actual, like, real build. Somebody actually fucking built this thing out of an old uh, Land Cruiser. And decided to just go completely over the top, and I'm all about it. This thing performed really well. I like it a lot. Good job with this one. You deserve the the praise, man. I had fun with it. It was it was awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.